Narcissists are actually very weak. A lot of people think that narcissists are powerful and strong, as though they have a lot of energy, and it may appear that way at times, but they're actually very weak and I will prove this to you in this video. They're unable to withstand force, pressure and wear. They lack moral and intellectual power. And they lack confidence and determination. They're easily influenced and worried by other people. Which is why whenever you're around them, you will feel like you have to protect them. As though you have to keep them safe from danger or harm. Like they're this threatened species. Because they are. They were never meant to make it this far. Because they're not independent, they depend on their sources of supply. Where they require and demand limitless special treatment. Limitless admiration, validation and importance. Which feeds their sense of entitlement and self-centeredness. Which is why they will deliberately find or create situations where they are the centre of attention. They will use a false character to manipulate people. To bring them into their realm because what they're really seeking is support and assistance. They can't manage themselves successfully on their own. And once you're involved with them you will find that they're too much to bear. They're more than you can handle. They're overwhelming. They're insupportable. They're like their own worst enemy. Because everything has to be about them. It's like you can't entertain anything outside of them even for a moment. They need constant attention because they never develop these emotional faculties from within to where they're able to sustain themselves. So when the time comes for them to be brave and tough to deal with a difficult or unpleasant situation, it's too overwhelming for them. It's too much stress. It's too taxing for them mentally. It's too physically and mentally demanding. Even though it may well be the only thing they have to deal with in their lives. Because as we know they don't like too much responsibility. But even if they just have a single task to deal with. It's like they can't even do it. They feel mentally drained. And it's not the result of anything external. They lack the mental and emotional capacity to deal with things. So they end up being burnt out. They experience mental collapse caused by stress. Which they then take out on the person closest to them. Because they can't carry the weight on their own. They're too much to bear. And even they don't want to deal with themselves. They want to pass themselves off to you and let you deal with it. And while they hold you to such unrealistic expectations. What you're demanding from them is relatively small in comparison. And yet they just can't do it because they don't have the means. It's like trying to tow something in a small car with a small engine. If you're towing something heavy, it's going to tax the engine. It's going to cause too much stress and it's going to damage it. But with narcissists, they can't even handle something small. They can't handle a simple task on their own. They can't even regulate their own emotions, which makes them very dangerous people to be around. People who are emotionally strong are very safe people to be around. But it's weak people who act nice and as though they can handle things. Who are actually the most dangerous. Because it's just a recipe for disaster. At some point they're going to explode. And then you're left to deal with the consequences of their actions. You're left to clean up their mess. Because they can only pretend to be nice. They're actually not very pleasant or agreeable at all. There's a lot of things going on beneath the surface. 
things which they haven't dealt with or resolved due to a lack of self-reflection and self-awareness. They don't even know who they are. They haven't even taken the time to get to know themselves. Because they're too busy using external sources to regulate their emotions. And it's like this elephant in the room, this thing that no one talks about. Because you know that they don't want you to talk about it. But it's always there. And you know it's there because you feel like you always have to sugarcoat things. Whenever you're around them. And you have to do this to protect them and make them feel safe. So you're always walking on eggshells. You're extremely cautious about your words and actions because any little thing could set them off. So you end up holding yourself to these impossible expectations in the hopes that it will make them feel more comfortable. It's like you have to be perfect. You have to be in two places at the same time. You have to do two things at once. You have to be two steps ahead of them. You have to be this all seeing eye. You have to be God. You have to be the all knowing and all seeing. You have to be present everywhere. But at some point you learn that's what they want. They need you to be with them at all times. They need you to check in with them. They need you to tell them your plans. They need to know what you're doing and who you're with. Nothing can be unpredictable or unforeseeable where they may be left feeling uncertain or doubtful because their identity and sense of self depends on where you are and what you're doing. They see you as an extension of themselves so they need to have full control of you. They need to feel like they can pull on the reins when they need to. Which is why at times they will devalue you. They will try to keep you down. And if it gets too much for them, they will even discard you. And this is all coming from their weakness and fragility. Even after they discard you, they will try to find someone else to support them. Until they realize that person isn't perfect too. And then they will hoover you. They will try to come back to you. Until they assume that it's all over for you. You can't handle them either. And then they will begin this campaign based on lies and falsehood of how you mistreated them or of how you weren't good enough. Even though you may have given them your entire life. You may have given them everything you had. But they will go on this campaign and they will build these destructive networks behind your back. Because what they're really seeking is protection, support and assistance because they lack moral and intellectual power. They lack confidence and determination and they're easily influenced and worried by other people. It doesn't take much for them to see you as a threat because they're very weak and fragile people. But they hold this stance of them being moral and righteous people when in fact they will cheat, lie and steal. They will deceive you. They will future fake. They will deny, project, blame shift and gaslight. They will keep a code of silence. Where they expect you to act like nothing is wrong and see them as perfect. And they will do all of this because they are weak. All of these behaviors stem from weakness. Which is why it is only low value people who conduct these behaviors. High value people don't need to do that. Because they can advance by being honest, righteous and moral. Weak, low-value people cannot do that. They have to cheat, lie, and steal. They have to deceive because they're lacking the power to perform. They're lacking the mental and emotional capacity to achieve anything on their own. And even if you work your fingers to the bone on their behalf, that still isn't good enough for them. Because they're easily threatened and intimidated. They feel inferior to you. So then they will start to hate you. They will desire to tear you down. 
because they need to domesticate you. They need to keep you in this box where they're able to control you. But it's not really you that they're trying to control. They're trying to regulate their emotions through you because they view you as an extension of themselves. They don't see you as a separate person, which is why they have to isolate you. Because your independence would otherwise reveal to them that you are a separate person, which would destroy their false reality. And then they'd be forced to accept that their thoughts and emotions belong to them, which is the last thing they would want to do because they're weak and they can't deal with it on their own. So everything they do is designed to protect their fragile sense of self. It's why they devalue you. It's why they have to keep you down. It's why they eventually discard you and then come back with a hoover. It's why they cheat, light and steal. It's why they can't leave you alone. It's why they smear your name and build networks against you. Because they're emotionally bankrupt. They're emotionally void. There's no place from which they can draw love, kindness or empathy. Because they're broken, damaged people. Which is why they lack value, usefulness and normal function. And if you pay attention, you will notice that even their communication appears robotic where they're stiff and unemotional, where they're like this machine, something that was programmed by a computer, as though they're guided by some external control device, rather than being something real and authentic. So even when you try to talk to them and understand them, their communication seems rehearsed, as though it's nothing more than a public performance. As though they're just stating a list of points that have been made many times before. Because they have these broken and balanced perspectives, these experiences that inflicted damage on their psyches to where they lack steadiness and soundness and judgment. Because in their childhood, they were taught that these things are okay. They were taught that it's okay to be weak. It's okay to lack the force of character to hold their own decisions, beliefs or principles. It's okay to lack enthusiasm and energy because someone else will take care of it for you. Someone else will be there to save the day. So they've never had to stand up for anything in their entire lives. Whether it's for someone else or for themselves they've never had to step in because they've always been surrounded by enablers who protected their distorted reality people who told them that they don't have to do anything which resulted in them lacking character, discipline and willpower this firmness of purpose towards something positive and productive which every person should have within but they don't have that Instead, they have to cheat, lie, and steal in order for them to survive. They have to build networks that support their narrative. Because the reality is that these types of people are not even meant to be alive. They were never even meant to make it this far. And deep down, they know it. Which is why they have to feed off other people. Because they can't generate anything life-sustaining from within. They can't sustain themselves, so they can't sustain you. Instead, all they can do is drain you of your life and energy because they're weak. When you are around a strong and powerful person, you will feel strong and powerful. When you're around someone who feels weak and fragile, you will feel the exact same way unless your strength and confidence is great enough to pull them into your reality. But with narcissists, that's very difficult to do. No matter how strong and confident you may feel, it's just a matter of time until they pull you down because they are extremely negative and pessimistic. Deep down, they already know that they were never meant to make it this far in life. They already know that they are doomed. And when you're constantly around that type of energy, it's very difficult to it will suffocate you. It will cause you to feel trapped and oppressed because they've already given up on themselves. They gave up a long time ago. 
So instead of trying to manage themselves and become a better person, they choose to manage other people. When they were never meant to have any source of power to begin with. Because if you look at them, you will see that they're not doing anything productive. They're not leading people anywhere good. They're not inspiring people. And in fact, they're just bringing everyone down with them because that's all they can do. They can't uplift people because they have no fight left in them. They already gave up on themselves a long time ago, which is why they're so weak because our power is meant to come from within. It's not meant to come from controlling other people. That's just an illusion of power. It's just something they're taking from another person and claiming it as their own. It's not something that they're generating from within. Which is why they have to isolate you and try to keep you to themselves. Because unknowingly to you, you are the source of their power. You're keeping them together. You're making them appear normal and sane. And this is why they have to keep a code of silence. Because they're terrified that you will come to this conclusion. And then you will recognize that they have no power of their own. Which means that the illusion will fall apart. And then they won't be able to manipulate you after that. Which is where their power comes from. Which is why they need you to pretend like nothing is wrong. They need you to stay down and keep quiet. They need you to see them as perfect. Which is nothing more than a feeling that they need you to have. Because a logical explanation would pose a threat to the illusion. And there is nothing outside of the illusion. Because that's all they've ever worked on. They never worked and developed in their true character. They never built the foundation or structure. One day they just decided that this is who they're supposed to be. They never did the work. They never felt the calling from a higher power or purpose. It's all self-serving. And it's self-serving because they're weak. Because they lack character. Which is why they're so envious and jealous of you. Because they know that you have done the work. They recognize in you from the very beginning. And unknowingly to them, it was your isolation that made you the person that you are today. That's why you're strong and they're weak. Because they're addicted to people. They constantly have other sources of supply. They never spend any time with themselves. So there's no time for them to develop their character. And it, because it's so underdeveloped, they wouldn't even know where to start. It's too overwhelming for them. So instead they target you and try to control you. As they take bits and pieces of your identity away from you. Which they use to construct their false self. And they use that to try to make you envious or jealous of them. When the reality is that they're spending all of this time around you. It could only have ever come from you. Because you are their main source of influence. They have nothing more significant outside of you. They have no higher purpose. Their purpose is grounded in the false reality. Which is why by the end of it, it's almost like they become the second rate version of you. Rather than becoming anything of their own. And they go on trying to impress other people with your qualities and with the fruits of your labor. They're just taking pieces of you with them wherever they go. They're not developing anything of their own. Which is why people in general are so weak and easily influenced these days. Because no one is stepping in to empower people's individual identity. People are telling you to be this or be that. Instead of telling you to find your own way and do what works for you. Which is exactly what narcissists do. Because they want to control you. They see you as an extension of themselves. So they want you to be just like them. Instead of you being who you actually are. Because they understand that your true power comes from within. Which is why they need to keep you at their source of supply. Because they know that without you. By this point they probably would have gone insane. They can't survive without supply. Because they have no higher purpose or higher calling. 
There's no incentive for them to do what's right. Because they abandoned themselves a long time ago. So they already know they're doomed. They chose to be selfish and greedy instead of having empathy for other people. And that is what made them weak. Because what you give out is what you get back. Which is why they have to build these networks. Because their entire lives they were selfish. They only cared about themselves. So now they have to fabricate these stories to build a network where they are protected. Where they are empowered by other people. Who assume that they are telling the truth. Or who may doubt them but choose to go along with it anyway. Because it's the only way they can make up for an entire life of only caring about themselves. They have to build a false reality. Where they rob people of their identity. Where people become agents to a joint purpose and a false reality that doesn't make any sense. Because that's the only way that the narcissist can harvest their power. They can't generate it from within because they lack empathy. They don't care about anyone but themselves. As within, so without. The outside world is a reflection of our inner world. So if we don't love and respect other people, it makes it impossible for us to love or respect ourselves. And narcissists have never shown empathy for other people. So they wouldn't even know where to begin. They would have to begin by taking accountability for the things they did in the past. But they have so many skeletons in the closet, they wouldn't know where to start. And they know that if they came out, it would get real and no one would accept them. So there's no incentive for them to act right. It's like they almost have no choice but to continue on this path. Because they already know that they shouldn't even be alive. They should never have made it this far. Because they only got this far in life by cheating and deceiving people. Rather than doing anything on their own. They manipulate and control people with these tools or toys which they hold on to. Which they see as a source of power. When in actuality they are disempowered because they have to resort to manipulative tactics. Instead of being authentic and generating their power from within. But they see these tools as something that will protect their fragile sense of self. As something that will protect their weaknesses and insecurities. Where they develop these unhealthy coping and defense mechanisms. Which results in them acting like an unruly child who always has to get their way. Even though they never did anything to earn it. So they placed you in this parental role. Where you are meant to help them to grow and develop. Where you are responsible for their mental, emotional, physical, spiritual and social development. Where you are left to give direction, impose rules, use discipline, set limits, establish and follow through with consequences. But at the same time they don't want you to have any power. Because they need to have the power in order to sustain their false character and the illusion. And if you had the power it would completely destroy it. Which is why they assign you to these character roles to try to take your power away from you. Because that's what they're using to sustain the false reality. Without that the entire thing would fall apart. And then they would just be laying in the rubble dazed and confused. Which is why they hold on to it so nearly and dearly. To where it almost becomes like their religion. This pursuit or interest which they follow with great devotion. And they give a great deal of their time and energy to it. Because deep down I think they know it's the only thing they've got. They have nothing else outside of it. Because they never took the time to establish anything real or authentic. So after some time it's like the false character replaces the underdeveloped true self. It becomes who they actually are. And that's when it's like they can't even hide it. They become more overt. It's like they don't even have to wear a mask anymore. Which is often the result of their network of flying monkeys and enablers. Because by that point they can do whatever they want and know they're going to get away with it. Because there's nothing to keep them in check. They never built a character which had any intrinsic values or morals. It was purely self-serving. And because they're so selfish and greedy, there's really nothing they won't do. 
if they believe they're going to get something out of it. Because they are weak, they lack discipline and direction, which is why they have to direct and control you. As within, so without. When people lack control and direction within themselves, they feel the need to control and direct other people. If you feel strong and secure within yourself, you feel no need to control anyone. And that's what love is. Love is freedom. Love is about letting go. But these individuals have no love in their hearts because they lacked empathy from the very beginning, which means that there was never anything for them to develop or work on. By default, all they can do is take from other people to sustain their false character, and they think that's living. When in reality, they're not even alive. They don't even feel alive. Which is why they have to build networks of flying monkeys and have constant sources of supply. Because it's the only way they can feel like they are alive. They can't feel alive on their own. They lack passion and purpose. There's nothing keeping them together. Which is why whenever you're around them it's like they fall apart. Because what you have is what they're missing. It's something they can't generate from within. But it's also something they can't receive or experience. And yet it's something that they still decide to be a part of. And it is for this reason that you have to be their parent. Because they lack direction and control within themselves. So they need you to guide and direct them. But at the same time they have to control you. But whenever you're around them you will feel like you have to baby them. As though you're dealing with a child. But they're like this child that wants to be the parent. So they want to manage and control you. Which is why they don't like it when you question or confront them. Unless they can use it to get supply. They don't like it when you're looking for answers. Because they already know that they have something to hide. They cannot react logically. They cannot give you a reasonable explanation for their behavior. Because they already know that would expose them. So everything has to be about your feelings or emotions. They have to intimidate you or become passive aggressive. And they have to pull you down with them in order to sustain the illusion. Because a rational argument would completely destroy it. So they have no choice but to remain emotional whenever they're around you. Because that's the only way that they can get their rocks off. They can't do that if it's just two adults having a sensible conversation. They have to resort to feelings, insults and attacks. Because although they're heavily dependent on you. They're also seeking independence from you. They're trying to detach but they can't. Because they never fully attached to you. They never fully accepted you as the person that you actually are. Instead they developed this mental image of you when they first met you. And that is what they will hold on to. And they hold on to it for dear life because they need it. There's nothing inside of them. They have a void. And they need you to fill it so that they can feel whole and complete. Even if it's just for a moment. So that they can feel like they have a higher mission or purpose. But that doesn't mean that you can be their friend. Because they deeply hate and envy you. They secretly admire and respect your independence. But it's you and not them so they want to destroy it. Because they want to prove to themselves that they are strong and powerful. Even though that may never be the case. But they gave up on reality a long time ago. So they will happily settle for a false reality where they are the prize. But you will never be able to connect to them. You will never be able to get through to them. Even though it may seem like you're getting somewhere. You're actually not. That's still just a part of the game. They will never understand your perspective because they lack empathy. 
and they're more concerned with their own interests and needs. So they will never be able to understand. They may recognize that you are a healthy and productive person, so they will only use closure and validation as a means to further manipulate you and lead you astray. Until the time comes when they're ready to destroy you, because that's all that they can do. They're weak. Strength is the willingness to accept other people's ideas and perspectives, to accept that other people have a different way of living, which is something that narcissists cannot do because everything has to be all about them. Yet at the same time, they have a fragile sense of self and they live in a false reality. So anything else is a threat to them, which they have to monitor and control because deep down, they already know that their character and reality is not real. And they know it's not real because it doesn't produce anything good. If it produced something good, the signs would be there. It will produce success over time, but it doesn't because what they're doing is not right. Yet they continue to repeat the same things again and again because they've lost their minds. Creating a false reality is an extreme action to take and it is done out of desperation. Desperate people do desperate things. And as Albert Einstein once said, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. But that's just where these people are in the minds. They're stuck on a loop because they're weak. Only those who possess great strength and willpower are able to break the pattern, but they lack discipline and control. So even if they could do that, it would only last for a short period of time and it would only be used to manipulate you. They just haven't got it. They're nothing like us and deep down they already know it, which is why they do what they do. And for these reasons, you will never be able to connect to them. You cannot connect to a weak person. It takes strength and courage to face things head on. And that's just something they can't do. They're too full of shame and defeat. They already know there's no hope for them, which is why you will never be able to love them. And they will never be able to love you because they see love and vulnerability as a weakness. They can't be vulnerable because they see it as though that makes them stupid or foolish and as though they're exposing themselves to danger or harm which should reveal to you exactly who they are because they're constantly seeking intelligence. They're constantly seeking to understand things that they don't understand. They're constantly trying to protect their fragile sense of self by not letting in love, by not showing empathy to those who may be less fortunate. And it results in them becoming very paranoid and hypervigilant where they believe that people are out to get them because they already know they've done people dirty. It's why they build these networks. It's why they're constantly looking for new supply because they're just wondering when is it going to catch up to them? When is their ride going to come to an end? Because they know that what goes up must come down. They know that they will eventually experience a fall from grace and they need to have something to fall back on because they already knew that what they were doing was right all along. They know that nothing good stems from weakness unless you're around someone who is strong, which is why they're constantly in survival mode and they make you their parent or caretaker. While they become this unruly rebellious child that you have to protect and take care of, they act out in an attempt to show courage and strength, but it never lasts because they want to take your power from you. So they have to treat you as a child and try to control you when it doesn't make any sense. Because although they demand and expect that you take on this parental role and you give them direction, impose rules and use discipline, they don't want you to have any power or responsibility. They don't want you to respond to the best of your ability because they don't want to change. They want to stay weak because they're quite comfortable with the way things are. Maybe at one point in their lives, they wanted to be strong, but they gave up a long time ago. 
They have no fight in them now. They have the chained elephant syndrome, where they remain tied to bad past experiences, which is the result of childhood trauma. They don't try again because they're holding on to negative experiences, which holds them back from the real possibilities of the present that could completely transform their lives. And this makes them very dangerous because although they may have given up on themselves and doing anything with their own lives, they will sacrifice people for the sake of them giving them more power. But it actually results in them having less power because it's self-serving. So it's actually disempowerment because the power they take is also the power they give away. They're not using it for a meaningful purpose. So it doesn't last to result in anything good. Narcissists are weak. And that makes them very dangerous people to be around. Strong people are not weak because they don't give up. They keep fighting for what they know is right. They spread love instead of hate and animosity. But weak people are quick to throw in the towel. You do one thing wrong and they will devalue you and turn against you because they have a black and white mentality. So they won't stand for anything. But you need to stand for yourself by realizing that you can be better. And although you may be down right now, it's only because you're around the wrong people. You're surrounded by people whose only intent is to bring you down. If you were in the right environment, you would be able to grow and develop. And that's where we differ from narcissists. They believe that things cannot change or be better. They may have told you you'll never be anything. They may have told you you'll never be good for anyone after they're gone. And that may be true for them. Maybe they can't change. Maybe they can't be better. But it doesn't have to be true for you. They don't believe in you because they don't believe in themselves. And that is why they remain stuck. They stay weak. But you can find strength in knowing that we are not the same as narcissists. We can change and grow and become the best versions of ourselves. And they're not going to like it. Because it just reminds them that we are different. It reminds them that we are strong. And they are weak. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you could donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.